Hello again. Welcome to our fifth math lesson. Today, I am going to be reading a book to you from our Epic website. If you would like to follow along with me, I put into the search bar at the top map parts, as you can see up there, and I scrolled down a little bit and here came this book, Follow That Map. That's the one I'm going to be clicking on and I'm going to be reading to you today. So it is not a read to me book. So I am going to go ahead and read it to you because it says right here that it's a level M. That's a second grade level book. So I'm going to read it to you today. Wowee, look at that table of contents. It's a long one, isn't it? Yes, it is is it has a lot of pages and a lot of things we're gonna be looking at in this book. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and that's what the first section is called, getting started. It says, do you know how to find a hidden treasure? Do you know how far your house is from the candy store? Do you know the way to your favorite ride at the amusement park? It's easy, join the friends below and follow that map. So I'm gonna go closer into our friends here. We've got Yuli, Pedro, Nick, Sally, and Martin. And then down at the bottom, we have a couple little pets, Olive and Max, I'm sorry, Ollie and Max going along with us too. And then underneath that it says, a map is a drawing that tells you about a place. There are different parts to a map. This map explains what some of those parts are. So let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, right up here we have something we've talked about this week, our compass rose. The compass rose on a map will always point north. Some compass roses show all four cardinal directions, north, south, east, and west. There's our compass rose. Up here it says, Ooh, let's learn a new vocabulary word, landmark. A landmark is something that is easy to find, like a tall building. Here's symbol, we've talked about symbol this week. A symbol on a map is a small drawing that tells you what you are looking at, which goes along, of course, with our map key or legend. That's just a different word that also means map key. Most maps have a legend or key. The legend explains what all the symbols on the map mean. So on this one, on this map, if there's a bicycle, that's for the bicycle path. If there's a tree, that means the forest area. If there's that blue squiggly waves, that's the lake. And the tall building is a landmark. Here it says, some maps show paths or routes that help you find your way. That looks like a really awesome bike path, doesn't it? I wanna go on that one. And then this is something we did not talk about this week. This is actually a little bit for our older kids, but we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it. It's a scale bar. The scale bar on a map helps you measure the distance. The line on this map shows that Sally is 16 kilometers or 10 miles from the landmark. So it's a way to measure to find out what the actual distance is when you're looking at a map because maps are much smaller than what it's like for real. All right, let's keep going. One sunny day. Sally and her friends are playing in her backyard. Pedro notices that Sally's dog Max and her cat Ollie are missing. Where have Max and Al Ollie gone? The five friends decide to find out. We'll read some maps. Oh, that's the response to this one up here, sorry. Where should we start? We'll read some maps. I have to be home for dinner. Don't worry, we have lots of time. First stop. Yuli has an idea. Maybe Max and Ollie are visiting their favorite places in the neighborhood. The children spread out and start their search. Can you find this symbol for the park on the legend on the map? Oh, here we go. Let's go over here. Hmm. What is the symbol that shows the park? Yes, it's the swing, fantastic. So now let's look at the map and let's find the park. Oh, I see it, it's up here in the corner, right? Do you see anybody? I do too. I see 
somebody they're looking for right there oh dear right at the park hmm. down at the bottom it says maps use symbols to help you find important places such as the hospital your school or your house the symbols are explained on a legend or key so you can see the other things here are the candy store the library Sally's house Follow that trail. Sally thinks going to the park next is a good idea. She takes Max for walks in the park every day. The children will follow the route from start to finish. Keep your eyes open. Somebody is going the wrong way. Who is it? Oh my goodness, let's study this map. So now I'm going to go back for a second. We're inside this park. We've gone inside this park, okay? Hmm. Okay, I was just wondering what that was. All right, so here is the map of that park that we are now inside of. So, ooh, I do happen to see arrows here, arrows here, arrows here, arrows here. So which friend is going the wrong way on the path? Can you figure it out? Mm, I see the friend going the wrong way too. Yes, right here, huh? The arrow says the path is supposed to go this way all the way around, but they're actually going the opposite direction. Hmm, found it. Okay, let's look back over here again. Oh, I'm having a hard time with this. There we go. A map can show you which path to follow so you won't get lost. The route on this map is colored yellow and marked with red arrows. Spot that compass rose for me. Good job. Here we go. In the city. No luck on the trail. Yuli suggests going to the city zoo. Maybe Max and Ollie are visiting the animals. Martin is getting close to the zoo. Which direction is he running? Oh, so let's look. Here we go. Here's Martin running. Which direction is he running in? Look at that compass rose right above him. What direction is Martin running? He's running east. Good job, because this direction going this way is east on the map. So he is running east. He's getting close to that zoo. I see. Let's look at that legend. So we really verify that that's it. It makes me think it is. Oh, I was right. The elephant symbol means the zoo. There is the zoo on the city map. It says, the compass rose on a map shows you directions such as north, south, east, and west, which we just used. Great work. Off to the country. Still no sign of Max and Ollie. Pedro has a hunch. Maybe they have left town. The children leave the city and search the countryside. How far is Martin from the tractor? Hmm. So they want you to measure from the tip of Martin's nose to the big wheel on the tractor. Which is from there to there. I'm just going to go roomp and roomp, and it looks like it's about that far. I'm going to say about five kilometers. I'm not going to be super specific on that one, but that kind of shows us if we see that this is five kilometers, and then I take it and I line it up there, that that's about five kilometers on the map. There's our legend again that tells us exactly what we're looking at on this map. I see those silly animals again. They don't see them yet, though. It says you can use the scale bar on a map to see how far away something really is. The scale bar on this map shows you how to measure distance using either kilometers or miles. Hot, cold, wet, dry. Look out, the weather is changing. Good thing Martin brought an umbrella. The children hope that Max and Ollie aren't getting too wet. What's the weather like where Max and Ollie are? 
Below it says a weather map is different from other kinds of maps. It can show how warm a place is or whether it is raining somewhere. So this is a weather map. So if we look at the legend or map key on this one, it shows us cloudy, lightning, rainy, and sunny. So we see right here, oh dear, we've got it rainy. But what about uh, Ollie and Max? What do they have? They have sunny weather. Yes, they do. They've got sunny weather. They're good to go. X marks the spot. Once the weather clears and the children are all dried off, Nick suggests a boat ride to the mysterious island. Sally finds a treasure map, but the children don't find Ollie and Max. Follow the friends to their big surprise. And at the bottom it says a treasure map is a kind of puzzle. X marks the spot where you'll find treasure. Ooh, let's look at this treasure map. It says, go seven steps east, cross Serpent Bridge, jump on eight stepping stones, but stop before Alligator Beach. Go south to find the treasure. X marks the spot. Okay, so let's see. Here are the kids getting off the boat. So it says go seven steps east. Here we are again. This direction is east, so we're going to go seven steps east. Oh, look, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven steps east. Okay. Cross Serpent Bridge. Ooh, I see the serpent in the water. Do you see the serpent in the water? And here's a bridge, so we gotta cross it. Hurry, cross it fast. Vroom. All right. Jump on eight stepping stones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we stopped at eight. It says, but stop before Alligator Beach. Nope, we don't wanna mess with those gators down there. Go south to find the treasure. X marks the spot. South? Oh dear, which direction is south again? Oh, let me look at my compass rose. Oh, south is this direction, so I have to go south, 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 south. <gasps> X marks the spot. There's the treasure right there. That was fun, wasn't it? Awesome. Up, down, all around. Tickets to Playland, what a great treasure. The children hop on the train and they're on their way. How many mountains do they travel over on the train ride? A topographical map shows the natural features of a landscape. You can use this kind of map to find rolling hills, low-lying lakes, or high mountains. So let's look at this map. This map legend tells us that there are cliffs, and mountains and plateaus and volcanoes. You might know what some of those are, some you might not know, and you might wanna go ahead and research those. So there is a topographical map, and it, the question said, how many mountains do they travel over on the train ride? Okay, so let's, let's count. Here's the train track, I can see it. So we've got one that they go over. These they go around. Hmm, picks up back over here two that they go over. Kind of reminds me of the Christmas train movie. Here we go. All fun and games. Sally and Pedro have a great time riding the Ferris wheel. They can see everything for miles around. Well, maybe not everything because look who's right in front of them. Yeah. Ollie and Max, they're riding that Ferris wheel, aren't they? They don't even see them. Hmm. The Ferris wheel is tall, but there's a landmark that's even taller. Can you find it on the legend and the map? And it says down there, a landmark is something that's easy to find. It might be a tall statue, an important building, or a funny looking tree. So let's see, using our legend, we can find the food, the petting zoo, the spinner, and the washrooms, another word for bathrooms. So, hmm, which one is the tall landmark? It's taller than the Ferris wheel. 
Yeah, you got it. It's that spinner I mentioned, huh? The spinner. Here it is right here. Look at how tall it is. The bird perched on top. The spinner is the tall landmark. Around the world. The five friends had so much fun at Playland, they almost forgot about Max and Ollie. Where in the world can they be? What part of the world would you go to to find Max and Ollie? And it says the earth is shaped like an orange. Oh, tell me the name of that shape. What is it? Sphere, right? It's a sphere. In order to show the whole world at once, a map, a map maker peels earth's surface just like an orange and lays it out flat. On a flat map, curved grid lines help remind you of the earth's real shape. So to make the earth onto a flat map, because it's really a sphere, our globe we talked about earlier this week, right? It has to look a little round like that so that you know it goes back together. So here it is. Here's our map of the world. And it's asking, where would you go? So up here we have North America where we live, South America under, Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia, and Antarctica. Those are our seven continents, something we'll learn in second grade. And where would you go? find Max and Ollie. Well, if we really wanted to find them, we would go to South America, wouldn't we? Because that's where Max and Ollie are. You're right. Blast off! Max and Ollie could be anywhere in the universe, and it's almost dinner time. There's just enough time to check out each of the planets. Which planet is Yuli heading to next? My goodness, look at this. Look at them out in space, flying through. My goodness, let's look here. We've got the sun, and then the first planet closest to the sun is Mercury. The next one is Venus. One after that is Earth, that's us, the third planet from the sun. Then Mars, then Jupiter, then Saturn, then Uranus, and Neptune. It says you can use a telescope to look at stars and even planets, but you will never see all the planets at once. This map lets you imagine what the planets would look like if they all lined up together. So they don't really line up like that, but if they did, that's their distance from the sun, just like that. And that's actually something you'll learn in fifth grade. I used to teach all about those planets. So Yuli is just about headed to, looks like this one right here with the big ring around it might be what they're talking about, which is Saturn, if I look over here, or if it's the one that maybe she's going to next, that would be Jupiter, if I look over here. Pretty neat. <gasps> Home again. Dinner time. The adventure is over for today, but where are Max and Ollie? There they are, sleeping under the big tree. Have they been there all afternoon? This friend said, let's do this again tomorrow. Next time, let's travel to the future. Found them. Then it's going to ask you to go ahead and create your own map of the bedroom, which we already did this week, didn't we? So we don't even have to go through this page. We got that down. We're already good at that. And then there's our index that tells us all the different things we can learn about in this book. Great job. Thanks for joining me to do that today, friends. Now I'm going to switch right over to something else here. I am now going to post this assignment right here to my class dojo. This is... The activity I would like you to do to follow up. So you can either draw, this is very simple, you can just draw it on a piece of paper or you can print this out. This part down here, these are just roads. These are just roads. You know what that is. Hmm, that you can probably figure out from down here. These are our directions. So this is what I want you to do. Circle the compass rows. Draw six trees. So using the key or that legend down there, draw those six trees onto the map wherever you want them to go. Draw two stop signs. Hmm, I wonder where those would be placed. I bet you can figure that out. Draw one lake. 
wherever you want it to go on the bat, but make it make sense. And then draw five more houses. So, oh yeah, if I look at my legend, my map key, they've already drawn one house, haven't they? You need to draw five more. All right, complete this and submit it to me. I can't wait to see what your map looks like, how it turns out. Bye, friends.